We need to check this out when you see if this guy's filthy. <laughs> He's filthy. He's rich. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming by. How are you? On our little road trip, we didn't even realize we're like 20 minutes away from you. We can't, Heck yeah. we can't not stop in. Dude. Ryan's Mobile One. All right, so today's vehicle is a 93. It's an F350. It's got the 460 engine in it. And the problem with this truck is that it has a 460 engine in it. <laughs> so. No arguing that the 460 is a good engine, but. It's also terrible on fuel. Everybody likes diesel, right? Diesel brothers, all that kind of rage. So who better person to uh, address this problem than uh, Rich here from Deep Boss Garage. <laughs> so this is legit in my garage. This is, uh, you guys remember the telehandler that we've done so many videos on. So it's a rare treat that he's just in the neighborhood and happened to come by. So he's here with Aaron. Oh, you probably don't <laughs> recognize me. <laughs> so we bought this truck because we don't have these trucks around our area anymore. They just run away. away. Yeah, so Nothing these have been gone old. for about, uh, about a good decade. It was probably the last time you saw one of these running around. You, you see them occasionally, but they're pretty rough. So they go in the water too. I heard you talking about yeah. a boat. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's what he's talking about. So what they did is they, they flew to California yep. and then they're picking this truck up and then they're gonna take it back to Ontario area and then they're going to put in which engine? The Cummins. You guys do Cummins swaps. Everybody knows you for Cummins swaps, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to... I think we pissed off a lot of Ford people <laughs> by, by <laughs> constantly telling, the, telling you what's wrong with Fords. Uh, but I think the 7.3 was a good engine. And we're going to rebuild a 7.3. We're going to uh -huh. take it all apart, show you guys how it works and then put a 7.3 in this, but we're going to put a six-speed Allison behind it. Wow. Yeah, just That'll kind of build the, the ultimate, and not go crazy with horsepower. We, we built a, an Audi race car, we're going to tow the Audi around with this, because I've got a regular cab Silverado with a Cummins in it, and that's not much fun with three people in so that. When, so when you show up with this and nobody's seen it in a while, and you're in Canada, and you've got a, like a nice diesel truck, four doors, uh, with handles on the sides that light up. <laughs> light up, yeah. Those are like pretty nostalgic, <laughs> cool stuff. So, what are the guys in your neighborhood going to be thinking? Uh, you're going to be you're going to bring up a lot of emotion and a lot of memories. We built a '85 crew cab long box dually for a guy. Yeah. Um, '85 was the last year Dodge put crew cabs in, and uh -huh. they didn't start putting Cummins in until '89. So we swapped the Cummins, put an automatic to a manual, and we made it from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. Nice. And he gets weekly one. offers for people to buy it. Just knocking on I the door, that. they got it parked up front, and basically, how much you want for your truck? It's not for sale. That's and that's, awesome. that's basically, so the truck prices are going through the roof. Uh -huh. um, and actually, our second-hand car market, truck market, is really difficult because um, the floods and stuff down south. With your dollar, you know, with the American dollar being so strong, uh -huh. all the dealerships are buying up our used trucks. So trucks like this are coming up way up in value because we can't afford. So they're us. all leaving the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we, nobody can afford a forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars mid-range, let alone a, a, a diesel three-quarter ton. You're looking at seventy, eighty thousand Canadian. Uh -huh. um, so these old trucks are going up in value like crazy. No emissions cool. and just yeah, and it's still there's something cool about it. So plus you get the road trip and you've got you've got Aaron. Uh, yeah, 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 he's yeah, a good yeah, company. Yeah, yeah he's absolutely. A smile, so. so actually, what we've been doing is having meetups and checking out other people's builds because we we basically like saying you know all the manufacturers did it wrong. Like <laughs> this, doesn't, this doesn't make sense. Four sixty. <laughs> it's like five miles to the gallon. Yeah. <laughs> it's these gas prices. Who can afford it? So yeah, that's uh, that's cool. And the E4OD is what's in here, which is kind of a match to the 4R110. I think those are the four transmissions. And, and for people that don't speak DeVos correct, <laughs> the, the 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 filthy rich language, what is that? What is that? So that so the E4OD is the transmission that's in here. Okay. It's a shame because it's just been rebuilt. The guy says, "Oh, it's here's like, yeah, here I just got this rebuilt. This transmission has warranty." And I'm like, "Good, it'll get us home." And then as soon as we're home, we're ripping it out. <laughs> It's like, no, don't do that. Oh, and the 4R110 is the four speed that went behind the power strokes. But we're going to put a six speed in it, make it a little bit more fuel efficient yet. We're going to, the power strokes, 
we found a 2000 power stroke because Ford likes to do stupid stuff where they're like, all right, we did something really well and it works really good, so let's, let's do stop something doing else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stop. You gotta quit doing that and what up. Yeah, so in 98, I think they came out with bigger injectors, turbo, and a pump and they had forged rods, but then in 2001 they decided, you know what, let's put these uh, powder coated or whatever rods in there and they'll work stock, but if you do anything to it then um, it's not going to work anymore. So we'll, we'll open it up a little bit, better exhaust. Um, the, the, the exhaust comes off the back of the turbo uh -huh. and it's like pancaked so it doesn't hit the firewall and it really chokes it out so yeah. just doing something simple stuff like that where you don't I have to be that there's a workaround for that it's called a sledgehammer a DFH <laughs> or something yeah. like that <laughs> or a body lift or put body new tires on that's probably a cleaner way to do that <laughs> yeah a little more money but yeah. you know in the end yeah. you spend a little more you get a little more they don't right? sell hockey pucks here <laughs> well <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, eh? <laughs> so yeah, uh, right now just a few issues. Um, we think that he never filled up the rear tank. Yeah. Uh, luckily the front tank was full all the time because the sending unit didn't work. So we so fixed the sending unit. This is already an adventure because the guys from Canada are flying to California and they're driving this thing back. So there might be some more story to unfold there. Yeah, so yeah. I think if people want to follow you, what's the best way to follow you on your journey? Instagram on the journey for now. And, and that is uh, D Boss Garage. Uh, yeah, just I'll ask the boss garage. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. You'll be able to follow him home. Yep, and then the YouTube channel. We'll be documenting the trip, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, we already took it up a mountain this morning. Figured if we were gonna snap a tie rod or a ball joint or something, might as well do it. Might as well do it. Place <laughs> in the middle you, of nowhere. Where you don't live. <laughs> We don't, don't know don't anybody. <laughs> it's like it's a long walk to an O'Reilly's. <laughs> that had some adventure, a little yeah. spice of adventure going adventure. <laughs> we actually bought, cool. 10 years ago, I bought a service truck from California. So it's a DT 466, a 4900 International, 20,000 pound truck. My brother and I drove it That's back. It's a lot of metal all in one yeah. place. And the first thing we did was go up a mountain and <laughs> see how far we could get until the truck was spinning. And then we set up camp, we slept in the back. And uh, we love the road trips. Like, uh, America is such a beautiful country. Um, oh, and it's diverse you. and it's cool. Like you go from That's one- That's what Americans say when they go to Canada too and, though. But it's cool, you go through from like state to state and you're like, I think we're in a different state. And, and it's like, there's like this imaginary line, but there's like a sense of like, I think we're in a different place. And yeah, uh, yeah it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thanks for showing us your truck. <laughs> yeah. And uh, look forward to seeing what you do with it. Yeah. I've seen yeah, a lot too. of, I've seen, guys, I've seen a lot of videos that he's done in the past where he comes up with all kinds of fun, cool, amazing stuff. And not only that, but the energy that you bring to it. You guys have a good time no matter it, it what is, you do. Yeah. A lot so, of work, but yeah, we're having a lot of fun doing cool. it. Cool. So it sounds pretty good. You don't hear a lot of ticking, tapping, or whatever. So what are you going to do with the engine once you pull it out? I think something will buy it. It's, a good, it's got 120,000 miles on it, 130 now. Do you think they'll take it in Canada, even though it doesn't have a lot of rust? <laughs> <laughs> so nice. They're not going to know what to do with it. They're going to be so spoiled. <laughs> the, wait, we had to take the box off and replace the front sending unit. Uh -huh. And you just crack the bolts loose and spin it over by hand. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> feel like royalty. Yeah, it's like it would take me a day at home and it took literally like 45 minutes. It was fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you need a 460 for one of these, set this guy up. Yeah, and an E4OD. Yeah. Come with it too. Cool. What's the other transmission that you guys are getting with it? Oh, with the no, new engine? No, we don't have it. So oh. uh, we're, we're putting a six-speed Allison in it. Right. Um, but, the, but the block you're buying comes with Oh, yeah, yeah, we have a ZF6. There you the, go. The six-speed manual for yeah. Ford. Um, we've got one of those for sale, so if you follow us along the route, meet us somewhere and take it off our hands so we can put some gas money in this to actually make it home. They can get a hold of you through Instagram, yeah. through direct messaging? Yeah, that's the best place. Cool. ZF6 six-speed manual for Ford. Dude, look how clean this is. Even the bumper. I mean, you got to look hard and you find a little rust and it's yeah. just surface stuff. Very cool. We weren't going to buy it until we noticed that those, those handles light up. It's, like, <laughs> it's very lava lamp-esque. You know, like very, <laughs> very, very nice. Correct. Or uh, like a uh, fish tank aquarium at the dentist's office or something. Oh, easy, no. easy. Oh, <laughs>
Okay. Oh, you cracked it! Oh, oh what are you doing? Dude, there is a big dude. We gotta check to see if the truck sits a little off. Maybe some big dude used to sit in this. I don't know. But, uh, very cool. It's got that sound about it, too. Yeah. So, I don't know. If anybody's interested and wants to know more about, uh, you know, like I've got some 7.3 stuff, you know, like yep. the, the leak offline replacement and all that kind of stuff. I've been sitting on that footage for a while. If you're interested and you really like this kind of thing, let me know in the comments below. Well, let's check out this long bed here. It looks like you got some uh, cargo in the back. What's that about? Is this uh, a couple spare tires? Um, you brought your own beer. I, beer. I forgot all about <laughs> yeah. that. It's nice and warm. <laughs> California plate comes with it. That's fun. Yeah. That's a classic. So we gotta, you know, you just go to the DMV and they'll just give you a trip permit and it's a blank piece of paper and they said, here, put this on your dash and fill it out. And you're like, sweet. <laughs> yeah. And you, you fill out everything but. You keep the plate too, which <laughs> yeah. is cool. See, I, I collect plates. I've got plates oh, here. Really? Plates there. Oh, really? Oh, I should send you a bunch. You know, lots of. So, I got a lot more that are in storage. I've got to get some kind of facade going on the wall. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to do. I'm going to do a secret art project. I've got all 50 states. So we're going to do something fun with that. So look at the four by four. Can people mm -hmm. send you plates? Yeah. For the wall? Yeah. They totally did. They delivered. Address in the description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cedar Valley, Utah. Yeah. Eight four oh lucky thirteen. Yep. Get a little strobe action going on with that. Okay, we're guys ready. <laughs> That's awesome. Who puts like glowing handles? Like this was so chic. I remember being a kid and seeing that and just thinking, oh, that is so cool. Someday I want that in my life. And not a lot of rust. Look at this. Look at this uh, rear fender. This quarter panel here. That little wheel arch. Yeah. There's just. You feel that grind? Yeah. And it's dirt. It's not Bondo. No, it's, it's, there's it's not a speck of rust under there. That is awesome. Yeah. You think it's rust, and it's just dirt because he took it mudding it. So I, would, I thought it was always a myth that brake fluid doesn't damage paint. Really? Yeah, but this, you see the Oh, but it do. Yeah. That, that's brake clean. And, or oh, brake, brake fluid. No, sorry, brake fluid. He was changing his brakes on a car beside him. He had a pail full of brake fluid. And he dropped his caliper in there and it sprayed oh, back. Wow. But it got him in the eyes and stuff too. So he ran so into he's not worried of, about the pain. No, he's so he, he, he ran into the house, took care of himself, and he came and back. Where did he run? Into three, what now? Three, into the house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Say it again. <laughs> into the house? There you go. Okay. <laughs> that was American though. You cheated the last one. <laughs> Three days later that showed up. Not right away, three days later. Oh wow. So we gotta see if we can try and clean that up because we can't paint it. As soon as you paint it, the value goes down. Really? Because the patina. No, no. Because they're like, oh, it's all full of bondo underneath. Like, oh. right. So, right. So no, this is original paint. It's never been painted. It's just, well, what about this? Can we fix this? Yeah, so we'll pull the moldings off and you can buy new moldings and I think we'll put well, the moldings the, back what on. What about this? I don't know what you That's coming <laughs> off your bill because I can go back <laughs> to the just footage and that, that is not. Just look at that. It's crap. <laughs> I'm like stealing content now. <laughs> You're getting the bill for that one. That was not broken until you reached that. I can go back in the footage and this line is not there. I own the footage. <laughs> not guilty. You've got no evidence of that. So, well, that is exciting. This truck is awfully, awfully clean. Yeah. Out of California. Needs a good polish. I think the interior, we actually found a really nice tan Should interior. Should we get a shot of that? Should we look at what the... I don't know if it's good or bad. It's it's road trip state right now. Wiring <laughs> minds want to know. That actually looks really good. It's not bad. This seat is actually the front and the back seat and the crew cabs are the same. So he just took the, the worn out seat and put it on the back and then he's got a oh. nice brand new seat for the front. And it's not well, dude, that. that's like spares on board. Yeah. But I think we're gonna rip the whole thing out, put buckets in it, and maybe put like the, a modern interior in it, dashboard. Just move that one back to the back. No, like do a whole crew cab matching, like. Gotcha. Um, so if you paint it, that's bad. But if you change the seats, that's okay. Exactly, because the outside is still perfect. Bondo. Yeah. And, and Bondo is the enemy. So is People there, know is what's there up. Yeah. Including but, Rich here. But they want to climb into the truck and feel like it's a modern truck. So uh, modern, like a more modern engine, a better transmission, um, and it actually rides really nice. So yeah. it'll, and then put a nice modern interior in it, and, and you don't it's have to spend nice sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. Very cool. We just need a whole bunch of time and money to do it, right. and then right, I will listen, be. Listen and watch. See if this hops up or not. You guys ready? The real test. 
Straight in. Straight in. It's not a Toyota. <laughs> it's a Ford, but it's in such good shape. That's what we're talking about. Well, very nice, guys. Thanks for bringing this by. And, yeah, uh, no worries, man. Thanks for letting me point the camera at you. You're, you're tired. You want to recreate. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Well, that's all right. It, it's a great there. holiday. Um, but well, yeah, we well, do hopefully we can send some people to your channel after yeah. doing this. So it'll all be worth it. Thanks, man. So check them out. Link below. Yeah, D Boss Garage. And and what do you say on D Boss Garage? We really encourage people to do their own stuff. So remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich. <laughs> and Rich said it, so. And he's filthy, so. Always filthy. I can't help. I like leak dirt. <laughs> you're just passionate. You're very hands on. Yeah, you're very hands on. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe.